It's a huge twist in the case of someone we've been telling you about, an accused teenage serial rapist. This happened in Pinal County. Tyler Coast was just 18 when police arrested him nearly a year ago, accusing him of sexually assaulting nearly a dozen teens. Well, now his defense says Facebook is shedding new light on a possible plot against him. ABC 15's Mary Ellen Resendez live in Pinal County. And Mary Ellen, what is the county attorney's response to all of this? You know, Katie, the county attorney typically will not respond on ongoing cases. However, according to his response, which was filed today in court, he is accusing the defense of basing their case on speculation. And I don't think it's that far uh, of a stretch to, for reaction of victims or friends of victims to respond in, in such a way. If anyone ever thought Facebook messaging is private, think again. Defense attorneys for Tyler Cost are asking the court to order access to Facebook messages from at least three female victims and three other teens. Court documents say that these messages show a plot to get revenge against Cost for being a, quote, player. One victim Facebook messaged, quote, he needs to be taught a lesson, while another said, quote, he's going to feel the pain he put every girl through. And another victim even responded, quote, let's blank with his mind and his car. That very same victim even claims in those Facebook messages that cost hadn't touched her. When they have had a relationship with a person, uh, it's very real for them. And they're conflicted with what happened, which may have been very bad and traumatic, with real, true, sincere feelings of love and affection. According to court documents, the six girls got together to watch the movie John Tucker Must Die, where a group of girls take revenge on their ex-boyfriend. We have a solid case. We have 13 separate victims, right? Some of which didn't even know each other. Some of which were in other states. Now, Cost is facing some 30 charges against him for 11 of the 13 victims that have actually come forward. And this motion to get access to some of their Facebook pages, it's going to be heard next Monday. Mary Ellen, thank you.